Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the attacking and chance creation tutorial. I'm going to look at various scenarios, but first up we're going to look at how to sort of break down teams that have this sort of low block. So you can see that trying to cross the ball or pass through them is going to be very difficult. So sometimes getting in these wide areas, what it does, it forces them all into the penalty box. And then it's just a case of laying it back and taking a pot shot from range. As you can see here with the finesse shot from... Jaden Sancho and obviously if you are shooting from range make sure you've got good finishing kicking power and obviously if you're doing a finesse shot then you need curl as well another great way to break down a low block is to use the high early cross so that's your left bumper right trigger and your lob pass buttons all at the same time also check out these guides and tutorials shown in this video as these will definitely help improve your chances of scoring from crosses and also super councils mightily useful as you saw there be pulling away with harry kane at the far post and you can also use exactly the same type of cross for inside the penalty box as well and it's so so dangerous it really does flash it across in between the goalkeeper and defensive lines and leaving you for a simple tap in now in this next clip, what we're going to look at is getting in between the defense and midfield lines with a player. And what pains me to see is when players in this position will pass it forward to their striker. If I pass that into Vardy, he's going to get mauled by three defenders. So driving into that space, looking to see what's going to open up. I see the defenders coming out here, but I realize that Vardy has tied up that one defender behind. So if I just drive into that space using a fake shot, allows me to get a shot off and in this instance I score. You saw my player hold off and shield their, the ball from that player pushing me from behind. I've got tutorials on shielding so be sure to check those out as well if you want to know how to do that as well as at high speed. So it's quite a useful tool and again look at me driving into that space first waiting to see what materializes and when I do play into my players look how I'm always pulling it away from goal their defender comes out, pulling away from goal, again facing away from goal, just protecting the ball. And I'm just going to keep the ball alive until something opens up. There's the opening and then I'm able just to finesse shot. And just to touch on this finesse shot, if you are blinding or blocking the goalkeeper's view with players, it is going to make it harder to save. Now let's take a look at counter-attacking situation. The cross comes in and I'd always recommend pressing shoot to clear. And this is why, because you get more distance on those headers. And in this scenario, what I'm going to be doing is taking two touches with Vardy. And the reason for that is always take a touch first anyway, because that will improve your passing accuracy. And the second touch is to allow him to get closer to that back line, making sure he's not offside. So he's going to stay onside and then you're going to give him a better chance to get through on goal and then just round the goalkeeper and finish. But obviously in this scenario, I had one extra player over, Martial, who can finish into the empty net. Here's another speedy counter-attack, but notice I still take a touch before releasing each pass, and that includes skills like the Marseille turn, which is really useful for turning a player to face the direction you wish to pass the ball. I didn't take a touch with Van der Beek, because he has one touch pass and Rashford was in acres and wouldn't matter if the pass was a bit loose anyway. In this position, Rashford could either perform the body feint or step over to cut inside. Both of these skills are in my top three skills video, followed by a nice curled finesse finish. One of the cheeky ways to win the ball back from an AI goalkeeper is to position players at the top and bottom of the field, but not too close to the player they want to throw it to. So as soon as he's locked into that throwing animation, select the player at the top or bottom of the screen and then a short sprint will allow you to intercept the ball. And if you're in this scenario where you can isolate one of the centre backs to come out to you, if you can get to that byline, what you'll see happen is that you're pretty much unchallenged. So a simple CR7 chop and I'm able just to tuck the ball into the bottom corner of the net. One more example of just intercepting those goalkeeper throws. And if you can catch it early, then you can see here I'm just using the R3 just to lift the ball off the ground before volleying towards goal with Harry Kane. Unfortunately, he did actually get back onto his line just in time. <laughs> that would have been beautiful. Now let's take a look at turning defenders on the edge of the box. Now it's ideally you need the defenders split apart as you're seeing here. And that allows you to go either side in this scenario. So I could turn left or I could turn to the right. And what I'm going to use here is the little drag back or the draw and close or draw and open just to shift the ball 
And what that does, it creates a pocket of space to allow you to turn your defender. So if you are playing online, I would probably actually turn to my weaker foot and then fake shot onto my stronger foot because chances are they're going to know which way you're going to turn. But always try to turn onto your stronger foot when facing the AI and then a nice curled finesse finish. If you're finding it really compact in the sort of central area of the field, then pass it out to your wide player, use a bit of finesse dribbling, just hold on to the ball and you'll attract their players to that side of the field and that will open gaps in between their midfield and defence. And this is going to allow you to play the ball into your centre forward once those gaps start appearing. So you can see that I've dragged their team across and then I'm just going to be able to play the ball through into my striker. And another trick you can do to turn defenders on the edge of the box is just raise the ball off the ground just a little bit by holding the R3 and just pushing the left angle stick just to lift the ball off the ground that allows you to turn your defender okay so in this clip Mason Greenwood has the ball on the right hand side he's just doing a little left stick dribble and what that's doing is attracting three of their players across now look up front I've got three players almost it's almost a three against two however Fred does have to take a touch here just to take the ball under control before passing I'd always recommend doing that as stated earlier and then once Van der Beek lays that ball off, he makes a great run to receive this beautiful cut back. And then it's a beautiful outside of the foot finish into the corner of the net. The Probably the most classic way to score in pairs is through one twos. They're not always on, so just make sure your player is ahead of their marker. So you can see here, I'm attracting one player towards me. And he's not going to have time to do a 180 and chase Rashford back in. So what that's going to do is I'm going to lay the ball off to the left hand side. Wait for Rashford to break past him and then just draw that other centre back across who I highlighted who's playing him on side and then adjust a fake shot finish into the empty net. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for joining me. Hopefully you guys found it useful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you've got any questions, drop a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks a lot everyone for joining me and I look forward to seeing you guys in my future video. Thank you once again and all. Bye bye.